Hi, I am Ravi Kumar. Um, in this video, we will see what is exactly the meaning of analog signal and sampled signal and the quantized signal. Here, observe the screen. So, in the screen, I have uh, drawn some sinusoidal signal which is having maximum value plus 5 volts and minimum value minus 5 volts. Observe this signal on x axis. I have defined the time as a variable. On y axis, I have taken some amplitude as a variable. So, this is x y axis. Uh, on x axis, I have taken time and y axis, I have taken amplitude. See, observe this signal as time is varying from 0, zero to something. So, as time is varying, the amplitude of the signal is going to be increasing up to this point. Afterwards, it is decreasing. Again, it is increasing. Let us see that is here at each and every point of time. At each and every point of time, have some amplitude of the signal is there always. So that's why here I have written time is continuous. Here, time is continuous. Zero second is there. 0 0.01 second is there, 0 0.001 second is there, so 0 0.2, 0 0.3 for each and every second we are taking the time and we have plotted this diagram. Similarly here amplitude is continuous. What is the meaning of amplitude is continuous? So 0 volts is there in the signal at certain time and 0 0.0001 volt is there and 0 0.2 volts is there at some certain time. Uh, some 4.9999 volt is there at some time. See that is the amplitude is continuous. Continuous means there is amplitude of 0 volts, 0 0.1 volts, 0 0.2 volts, 0 0.21 volts, 0 0.22 volts, 0 0.221 volts. So like this, the amplitude is continuous is there. We have each and every sample. See why? Because it is continuous. At continuous time, we have continuous amplitudes. Up to 0 to 5, this contains all values up to 0 to 5. So that is the meaning of continuous time and continuous amplitude. So when a signal is having continuous time and continuous amplitude, what is the meaning of continuous amplitude? From here 0 to 5 volts, there are each and every volt is there. You, you, you can take it at some time, you can take some 3.5 volts. And even 3.51 volt is also present and even 3.52 volt is also present in this graph. So that is the amplitude is continuous. Uh, uh, only 3 volts is there and next to 3.5 volts. There is no in between 3 and 3.5 volts like that. It is not there here. 3 volts is there, 3.1 is there, 3.11 is there. So that is there is continuous amplitudes are there in this graph from 0 to 5 volts. Similarly from plus 5 to minus 5 also continuously it is varying. So that's why we are saying that for this graph time is continuous and amplitude is also continuous. So this signal is called analog signal. Analog signal contains both time and amplitude continuous. Now coming to now coming to sampled signal. So this is a process of sampling. Sample signal means say so what are the signs signal we have? We are going to take sample at certain time instant t is equal to let us consider 1 second. So next again I am taking a t is equal to 2 second let us consider the sample. Next t is equal to 3 seconds let us consider taking, taking one sample. Next t is equal to next second I have taken another sample. So like this here in between these two time intervals that is let us consider it is 1 second it is 2 seconds. In between these two intervals that is 1 and 2 in between 1 second and 2 second I am not taking any sample. Here what I have taken I am taking discretizing the time, time 1 second and 2 second let us consider. I am not taking in between time samples in which are occurring in between 1 and 2 seconds. So that's why here I am taking time is discrete. Time is discrete. Now what about the amplitude? See observe here. So I, I have marked here this is the 1.1 volt amplitude. So this is 3.2 volts. This is 4.6 volts. This is 5 volts. So like that. The amplitude is continuous values. If you take the sample at here, here, the amplitude may be 4.5 volts. If you take the sample at uh, some here, the amplitude may be some 4.9 volts. 
so that is but but here amplitude is continuous but here observe here in between these two time intervals we are not taking any time in between let us consider 1 2 1 second 2 second 1.1 1 .1 second i am not taking any sample 1.2 second i am not taking any sample i am taking at 2 seconds again so that is in between these two time intervals i am not taking anything that's why time is discrete time is discrete i am taking only discrete samples 1 second 2 second so time is not continuous here why because 1.1 1.2 1.3 .1 is not available here at the time but amplitude amplitudes are available so that's why amplitude is continuous so time discrete amplitude continuous then you can say that one it is a sampled signal so this is the process of sampling so observe this one here 1.1 volt is there 3.2 is there 4.6 is 5 so now what we are doing is after sampling the signal i am going to apply the signal to the quantization process in quantization process see what will happen this 1.1 volt is round off into 1 volt only this 3.2 volt is round off to 3 volts this 4.6 volt is round off to 5 volts this 5 volt is round off to 5 volts only if you round off this 4.6 to 5 volts then what is the meaning of that one there is no in between 4.5 and 5 there is no voltage level if it is 4.6 we are rounding off to 5 volts if it is 4.7 we are rounding off to 5 volts that is we are making the amplitude discrete here observe this diagram this is the quantization amplitude what we are doing 1.1 volt is round off into 1 volt only what is the meaning of this one if it is 0 0.9 volts is there after sampling that 0 0.9 volts is rounding off to 1 volt only so there is no 0 0.9 volts there in this quantization process similarly here 3.2 volts is the sampling output but here 3 point is round off to 3 volts what is the meaning here either 1 volt is present in this here or 3 volts or 5 volts in between 1 and 3 that is let us consider uh, 3.1 or 3.2 are not there those 3.1 and 3.2 are getting round off to 3 volts only in this quantization process so here amplitude is making discrete either 5 volts or 3 volts or 1 volt either 3 volts or 5 volts or 1 volt no 3.2 why we are making discrete here amplitude is making discrete here amplitude is making discrete and also time is also discrete we are taking the samples at first second and second second only we are not taking the samples in between these two so that's why here discrete time and discrete amplitude understand the meaning of discrete amplitude here here only one volt three volts five volts are there if it is there is 3.2 volts there is no 3.2 volt in this level similarly here this is about the sampling and analysis uh, I am going to review this one again. So, analog signal is having continuous time and continuous amplitude. That is, at each and every time we are having some each and uh, some amplitude. Continuous time and continuous amplitude. Then, what about sampling? In sampling, the time is going to be discrete. Let us consider this first sample is at 1 second and this second sample is at 2 seconds. Between 1 and 2, that is 1.1 second, there is no amplitude marked here. So this is nothing but the sampling. We are taking some samples at 1 second, 2 second, 3 second, let us consider like that. So here time is discrete and amplitude is continuous. Why? Because 4.6 is there, 3.2 is there. If you take the sample here, that means 3.1 is there like that. So like that the amplitudes are continuous. So time is discrete and amplitude is continuous. This is called sampled signal. So next one quantization. Quantization. So in quantization, the 3.2 volts is round off to 3 volts only. What is the meaning of that one? No 3.1, 3.2 like that. Here continuous values. Here we are round off in the 3.1, 3.2 discrete values, 3 volts. So here what are the discrete values? 1 volt, 3 volts are 5 volt. Now due to this quantization process, what will happen? The 3.2 is the actual signal voltage, but we are rounding off to 3 volts only. So 0 0.2 is the error in this quantization process occurring. Now we have to overcome those errors while converting the analog signal to digital signal. So this is about the, so time is discrete and amplitude is discrete in quantized signal. So in summary, time continuous and amplitude continuous, it is analog signal. Time discrete, amplitude continuous, sampled signal. Time discrete, amplitude discrete, it is a quantized signal. Thank you very much.